What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today I'm coming in with a late night upload. Early morning upload. Boys, grab your popcorn, gather round, double upload today. I decided to put one up late for all you British people, all you EU viewers, all you people who for some reason are still up this late on a school night. I'm up late too. You know, I'm 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 ready to go, boys. It's party time. Let's celebrate. So either way. A couple things I do want to mention before I get into this video. First off, drop a like if you do enjoy. Second off, like I mentioned earlier, double upload today. It might be two acid stories. I'm not sure. If you guys want a second acid story, I could do that. And third thing is well, I'm starting a, a new little trend on the channel, a new special day. It's going to be called Respect Women Wednesdays. Now, on Wednesdays, we're all going to respect women, okay? And it's going to go beyond that. What I'm going to do is in the description, I'm going to have a Google form linked where you can apply uh, if you are a female or you have a female you'd like to enter. If you ask them before, of course, uh, you know, you can enter them into the Respect Women Wednesday uh, form. And what I do is every Wednesday, I'll, I'll take a respectful young woman and I will shout her out in a video and put a photo of her on the screen and we will all respect her in the comments and say respectful things about her and no sexual harassment or no hateful things whatsoever. It will just be pure respect in these comments, okay? So if if any of you ladies or you guys who know ladies who want to enter, uh, want to enter, go ahead and do that in the description. That's starting this Wednesday. So our first woman who will be respected will be occurring this Wednesday and I will make respectful remarks about them as well as, you know, everybody else better be doing the same it's a new hoot new holler boys this is a new hoot alert no fucking joke but either way let's dive into it so tripping at a water park now this happened a while ago you know i mean for those of you guys most of you guys probably know i haven't really tripped in a long time you know it's been a year since i've tripped almost a year and you know, th this happened last summer, you know, not last summer, like summer 2017, summer 2016. So over a year ago at this point, and at this point in time, you know, I, I didn't really, I didn't really do much, you know, I just kind of sat around the house, smoked blunts and tripped balls here and there and did the other occasional drugs. Sometimes some K, sometimes I drank, sometimes I popped bars, whatever. I was a fucking idiot. And on this particular day, you know, I'm chilling, and I also had the Mazda at this point, so it was nice. It was like maybe late July, you know, it was pretty hot outside, and I, I was just kicking it with my buddy who we're going to call Mikey. Now, Mikey was an interesting guy. You know, he most of the time lived with his mom. Sometimes he lived with his dad. He had a divorced parent situation, except like it was complicated because he would just keep getting kicked out back and forth, back and forth, and... You know, whenever he was at his mom's house, we would always all go over there and kick it with him and smoke some blunts at that place. It was a cool place to be. It was the spot, you know. So I go over to Mikey's crib. We're kicking it. We smoke some blunts. We're trying to talk about what we want to do. We're sitting there. We're trying to think. We're thinking, what the fuck are we going to do? Because we were tired of just sitting around smoking blunts, doing jack shit all day. You know, it was not a hoot nor a holler. And... No, it was hot as fuck outside, and at this point, we were high, we weren't even planning on tripping on this day, and we decided, first off, the water park didn't come in until later, we decided that we were going to trip, we wanted to, you know, he had some tabs, he often had tabs, and I was like, alright, I'm down, so he tossed me a couple double dose tabs, or no, excuse me, I, were they double dose? No, 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 that was a different event, excuse me, gentlemen, they were not double dose, but he threw me two tabs, and they were, they were pretty good, they were pretty good tabs, and in exchange for that, he was like, just supply the weed, you know, just keep us high through the trip, and you can pop these, no problem, so... I, I said, all right, you know, that sounded great. I already had enough weed on me. I had like a half hour. So, I mean, I guess I was good to smoke for the day, but when I'm tripping, I smoke a shit ton of weed. So honestly, if I was alone, I probably would have faced that whole half hour if I really could have. But either way, you know, we're, we're kind of sitting there. He hands me these tabs and we're trying to decide what we're going to do during the trip. Neither of us had taken our tabs yet. We were like, what are we going to do during the trip? And we, we came to the conclusion that we just wanted to play some 2K, you know, play some other Xbox games. He had a 360, not an Xbox One. And, 
just chill. You know, we just wanted to do whatever. Just walk around, maybe, maybe go out and smoke some blunts, maybe smoke some squares, do whatever. Just, just kick it. You know, have some more homies over. Have a have a good old day. So, you know, what ended up happening was I popped one of my tabs and I saved the other. I didn't want to trip too hard, but I wanted to feel a little something, you know, because when I don't have a plan, I'm just kicking it at a homie's house. I never want to trip too hard because I feel like when I trip too hard, I need to be more prepared. Like when I'm taking larger doses, but for this day, I didn't have shit to do. So, you know, one tab would be fine. So I pop my tab, Mikey pops his, you know, we're kicking it. And Mikey was a big ass guy. So he popped his one tab and then like an hour later, he popped another one and we're kicking it, playing some games. I'm feeling it, you know, maybe, maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes in, I'm starting to feel the come up. I'm, you know, the I kind of, how do I describe it? I mean, I, I feel like it's kind of pointless for me to describe my trips because the majority of my trips, unless I say they were different, were similar effect wise. It's more the things that occur during the trip that separate them, which is why I make so many different trip reports or trip videos, whatever you want to call them. But the effects are generally pretty similar. You know, I mean, I don't do many special things when I'm tripping. But on this particular instance, we're kicking it. I'm tripping. I'm feeling the come up. You know, it's it's starting to hit me. I'd already gone into it a little bit baked. We'd smoked. We had plenty more weed. I'm kind of feeling a little jiggy, a little happy, you know, a little little bubbly. I'm laughing a lot at stupid shit. Like, I remember when, when I was first coming up, we were taking turns playing 2K because he didn't have two controllers. And he was taking a shot, and he missed the dunk. And I was laughing my fucking ass off because, I don't know, dude, it was just funny as hell that this man missed a dunk. Like, it was wide open. It blew my mind. But either way, we had another buddy who we're going to call Phil. Now, Phil is a good guy. Phil's a hoot and a holler, great guy. And, you know, me and Phil, we we had an interesting relationship. We, like, got off to a bad start. Like, we originally hated each other. We almost fought each other. Then we put our issues behind us, but like weren't friends. We just like ignored each other kind of. And then we became friends, but I was still sketched out about it because I didn't know if he really wanted to be friends. He was going to try to like beat my ass or some shit. And then we became really good friends. So Phil hits us up and he's like, hey, what are y'all on? You know, he FaceTimes Mikey. I lean in. I'm like, what's good, Phil? He's like, what are y'all on? Mikey's like, we're tripping and I just missed a dunk. He feels like that sounds phenomenal. Can I come through? Mikey's like, of course. I'm excited. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Phil's coming through. This is going to be a great day. So Phil comes through. Now, Phil, he didn't have a car. He would always walk everywhere he went. He would Uber if it was really far, but typically he'd walk. So he gets there. It's a hot ass day outside. He's sweating. He's dripping. We're like, oh shit. That's fucked. It's probably hot as hell. He's like, yeah, it's hot as hell. And, you know, he asked us if we were tripping. We're like, yeah. And he didn't want to trip, you know, he he didn't want to trip, he just wanted to smoke some weed, so we were like, alright, that's cool. So we're talking, and he was talking about how hot it is outside, and Mikey comes up with the idea, you know, we're, we're still taking turns on 2K, I'm pretty sure we gave Phil a turn since he just pulled up, it was his turn to take some shots, and... Mikey brought up the idea of going to a water park, and originally it was just like, as a joke, it was like, we should go to a fucking water park, or like, some shit like that, and... You know, it very quickly evolved into, like, a serious idea. I was like, oh, shit, dude. That would be fucking dope. And he was like, yeah, dude, I might have to pop another tab for that. We could be tripping balls at the water park. And I was like, that sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely fucking phenomenal on every level you could think of. And, you know, Phil's still just sitting there. He, We hadn't smoked any weed yet. We were still tripping. Phil was just playing 2K. We hadn't smoked shit yet. And Phil was like, shit, I'm down. I'll go. It's hot as shit. I was like, all right. I'm down. Let's go. So, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there. We're all chilling. And we, we kind of like agreed to go, but none of us were like making the first move to go. So we were like, all right, let's roll some blunts and then we'll go. You know, we got we got to be able to smoke while we're in here. So, you know, what ended up happening was we rolled up like three blunts. I'm pretty sure. First one, we rolled pretty fat. We just smoked it before we even left Mikey's house. We smacked it, passed it around. It was a decent sized blunt, just a regular blunt, no woods, no games, no Vegas, just a regular old white owl. And, you know, we smacked that around. We go hop in my car and I let Phil drive. You know, I don't don't even think Phil had his license, but I was like, dude, you're only baked. I'd much rather have you drive my vehicle right now. You know, and I've driven tripping plenty of times. It's a terrible idea. I quite frankly don't know how I'm alive. But either way, at this point, you know, if 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 I'm like less intoxicated than someone else, I'll let them drive my car even if I barely know them. 
As long as I like have some sort of indication that they could operate a vehicle, then fuck it, dude. Go ahead. And if you if you're more sober than me, by all means, just take a shot. But either way, you know, we go hop in my car. Phil's driving. I'm sitting shotgun. Mikey's in back. We got the windows up because it's hot as fuck outside. We got the air blasting. We got the music blasting. We spark up another blunt. We're cruising it to a water park who, for those of you guys who are from Illinois, you may know of called Raging Waves. Now, Raging Waves is fucking dope. For those of you guys who haven't been there, I'm not a big fan of water parks, but I gotta give it up to Raging Waves. When you're intoxicated, this is a great fucking outing. So, you know, we're riding down there. It's not that far. I, I think it was maybe like a 30 or 40 minute drive. Not that bad, but Phil was whipping my fucking car, dude. I mean, we were really moving fast. We're hotboxing the second blunt. We smack that shit, roll down the window, throw it out when we're done. We got a whole nother blunt. We got a whole nother blunt. Now, of course, we were going to smoke this next blunt. Of course, we were going to smoke with this next blunt. And we're a little close to Raging Waves. You know, we're a little close. So what we ended up doing was we held on to the blunt. We, we get, you know, pulled up in the parking lot. We parked. And how Raging Waves is kind of laid out is really weird. It's like, I don't know. Parking at Raging Waves is just fucking annoying. That's really all I can say. For those of you guys who are from Illinois and have been, you know what I'm talking about. But Raging Waves parking is just fucking bullshit. But either way... You know, we're kicking it in my car, and we decided to light up the last blunt and just hotbox the car real quick. So we hotbox the car. It's a hoot and a holler. We're smacking the blunt, passing it around. Final blunt. I'm tripping pretty good at this point. You know, I'm not tripping hard. I'm still okay. I'm still, you know, normal to an extent, just tripping a little bit. Mikey's tripping a little harder than me, and Phil's just baked as hell. So we're all kicking it. We're just laughing. We're having a good time. We're like, all right, let's fucking do this. We hop out my car. We go in. We got our tickets. We we got we didn't have bathing suits. So I mean, I literally just took my shirt off and just walked in that bitch. I'm pretty sure I was in like cargo shorts and like boxers at that point. I just walked in that bitch. I didn't fucking care. I it didn't matter to me. You know, I mean, I, I had my I had my phone on me and I had my wallet on me and I gave Phil my car keys. And what we ended up having to do was we had to get one of those fucking lockers that you could store your shit in. That shit was fucking annoying. Let me tell you guys, I, it, it was Phil's idea. Me and Mikey were way too focused on the environment around us to, you know, think of getting a locker or anything in our pockets. But Phil was like, yeah, we should probably get, we should probably put this shit away. So, you know, Phil gets a locker, we put our shit away. And the first and only ride that we actually go on is the big fucking tornado thing. And for those of you guys who, you know, maybe you go to water parks a lot, you've seen what I'm talking about. You know that like cyclone kind of thing where you get on this big tube with like four other people. It goes through the little water slide part and then it opens up into this big like cone shape almost like a little like, it's almost like a little like, like cyclone. That's like what it is. And you just fly really high on each side of the wall and it like gets smaller and smaller as you go down it's like a it's like it's like one of those like frosting squeezy things that you see on like cake boss and all that shit you know what i'm talking about i don't know dude i i don't know what they're fucking called but either way we went on that thing you know we get in line we're chilling lines getting shorter we're getting to the top and it was crowded as fuck on this day there was a lot of like fine females there but I mean, I, I didn't really care about the females. Like, I would kind of get a look at some ass, but I was just like, I am in no condition to talk to a woman right now. And as we got on our raft and we were, like, getting ready for the, the lifeguard dude to tell us it's good to go, I just started laughing my ass off because just the concept of this, just these two idiots tripping and this third guy high as shit just went to a water park for no fucking reason, just tripping balls. Like, that. to me, that's just a hoot and a holler. So... You know, lifeguard gives us the thumbs up and Mikey sees me laughing and he's laughing too. He's just geeking at this point. Phil's sitting there. He's laughing because he's high as shit. He, we're all just laughing going down this slide. And all of a sudden we get out of the slide part and into the like cyclone part. My mind was blown. My mind was fucking blown. I could not believe it. On the inside of that thing, it felt so big. It felt so massive. I felt like a, I felt like a little needle in a haystack in that thing. I felt like a, a fucking pea in a mansion, dude. I felt, I felt very, very small inside this massive fucking water cyclone I was in, and I was convinced that I was gonna fall off at certain points, cause like, 
I was holding on to this raft for dear fucking life. And we were just getting whipped around. And I'm, st- I'm still laughing, but I'm also terrified. Like, I'm laughing and terrified at the same time. I'm, like, having fun, but also, like, shitting my pants. And, you know, Mikey, I don't know how the fuck they were. They were laughing, so I guess they must have loved it. But I loved it, too, just in a different way. But we were all laughing. We were like, oh, shit. You know, Mikey's like, oh, fuck. You know, we're, we're all chilling. Phil's just laughing. We get to the bottom of it. It's finally over. We hop off our little raft. And, you know, the only other thing we did after this was go on the Lazy River. And then we just went home. Like, that's literally all we did. We went on the tornado cyclone thingy. We went through the Lazy River. And on the Lazy River, we, like, held on to each other and talked about smoking another blunt. Like, we held on to each other's little rafts. And we were like, yo, we should go smoke again. And we didn't have any blunts or any weed with us. We had to go back and get more because I left all my weed at Mikey's crib. Excuse me, I just had the worst fucking hiccup. That was awful and repulsive. But either way, you know, I I left all my weed at Mikey's crib. So I would have had to gone back and grab that. And we just wanted to go and smoke some more weed. So, you know, what ended up happening was we got out of the lazy river. We went back to our locker, grabbed our stuff. The thing is, for some reason, I didn't take off my socks. And I didn't really process it until it was too late. I remember getting back to the locker and I left my shoes in the locker, but not my socks. And I was putting my shoes on. I was like, oh, this feels kind of wrong. And I, you know, I, I thought about it and I was like, oh, my socks are fucking drenched. This is repulsive. It, it was, it was just piss poor. It was just disgusting. But either way, you know, they, they dried up eventually. I remember we got home and, you know, I had to use, I had to use Mikey's blow dryer to dry off my feet, I was like, yo, dude, do you have anything, like, warm I can put on my feet, and he's like, yeah, dude, I got you, comes into the room with, like, a blow dryer, I'm just like, all right, that, that works, but I held it a little too close to my feet for a little too long, and it burnt a little bit, but either way, that's all I got for today, hope you guys enjoyed, drop a like if you did, don't forget to enter Respectful Women Wednesdays, all you lady viewers out there, if you want to get respected on cam, on video, thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys next time, peace.